everyone, it's Red Herring and welcome to September. It's hard to believe that summer is already gone and the kids are back into school. This is my What I Wore This Month video for the month of August 2016. I know it's already September, but my period did run into September, so I held off on doing this video until now. The links to any and all of the cups that I mentioned in this video will be found in the description below. And as always, if you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. First off, here is my Clue app. It'll tell you when I started my period, how heavy my period was, and how long it lasted. Uh, I did end up bleeding up until yesterday, and last night there was just a little bit of blood in my cup from the full day, so last night I didn't put in any more protection, and today so far I haven't bled, so I hope I'm done. At the end of this video, I will also include my Clue app to show you which cups I used for which days. All of these menstrual cups are new to my collection, so if you want any squish tests done or comparison photos, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. So I went ahead and grabbed for my uni in a size small. Uh, I did also use the uni cup in the size large, uh, but I went back and forth between these two because my period was still really light, and I wanted to give them a good try. What really uh, brought me to these cups were that they were so clear. I am a sucker for clear cups. I love if a cup is uh, clear, that it's very, very clear, and these are crystal clear, um, and they both were really, really easy to insert. I just did a uh, C-fold or U-fold. They slid in really easily. Uh, they're a smooth silicone, but they have some grip to it, so I didn't have any problems. They have no grip rings at the base of the cup, but I didn't have any problems um, trying to handle it. The stem on the small, you can see that there are some grip rings on that. Uh, I did leave the, the stem on the small, uh, but I did end up cutting the stem off of the large, and I don't know why I did that. I usually don't like to cut off stems, but it was really late that night when I inserted this one, and I put it in while I was in the shower, uh, and then ended up taking it back out while I was in the shower, cutting it, and then putting it back in before I went to bed um, and it was there's my daughter's car I'll be right back I'm sorry about that my daughter was leaving for work and her car squeals like a stuck pig so as I was saying I'm glad that I cut the stem off of this cup because my husband and I did have sex that night cup sex and uh, you can ask me questions about that here but I promise that I will do a video about it soon I did a little bit of write-up on it, um, and if you're interested, I'll leave that link in the description below as well. But um, I am glad that I did cut that off. I did find that this was a little bit too firm for my husband. He didn't care for it very much. Uh, the stem is nice and flexible in all directions, and it's not really, really squishy or anything but just this little bit that I left on here, the seal between the bowl of the cup and the um, stem was a little bit too firm and you can see here that when I push it, it kind of does stay right there and it, it has enough uh, firmness to push the cup in itself. I did use these both just back and forth, and my period wasn't really, really heavy this month. It just was like at a medium flow for me. I could empty my cup in the morning and then wear it for the full 12 hours and then empty it again. Uh, there was a couple days that I wore it a little bit longer than the 12 hours, and I don't normally recommend that, but it's not going to kill you. So after that, uh, I did move on to my lolly cup, and I'll tell you why I actually used this cup for as long as I did during my period. Um, I was waiting for 
uh, my husband and I to have sex again because I was really curious on how this cup was going to work. Um, it does have these channels in it so that it can collapse so that you can fold it smaller than a normal cup and I was just wondering if that was going to make the cup cave in and start to leak while we had sex. And it's safe to say that I did not. However, I do empty my cup um, right or while I shower and normally we do end up having sex after we shower. So my cup is always uh, fresh when uh, we have sex. I love the lolly cup. It's nice and comfortable for me, easy to insert, easy to remove. It's actually one of those cups that I don't have to coax when I remove it. I don't have to collapse the rim because the suction or seal is too strong for me. I can just grab it from the bottom, pinch it, and pull it out. I can feel uh, that the seal breaks, but it doesn't tug on my cervix and it doesn't give me any kind of pains when I do that. That whole week I was hoping to have sex with my husband uh, while using the lolly cup, but he had some late hours and then he also got sick that week, so timing just never lined up. And uh, since I had received another cup that week, I went ahead and uh, prepped that cup. I did promise somebody that I would give it a try. Uh, I prepped that cup and I went on to using the green Green Cup of Maine. The Green Cup of Maine is very, very similar to the Diva Cup. It is um, softer than the Diva Cup though, so if you like the shape and the length of the Diva Cup, but maybe it gives you cramps from too much pressure, uh, the Green Cup of Maine might be a great alternative for you. I personally didn't really care for this cup. I mean, it inserted just fine. It opened just fine. Uh, the length of it just wasn't to my liking. I could feel the stem at the opening of my vagina. I know that the stem is nice and short already, uh, and I could probably cut it more if I wanted to, or cut it off if I wanted to, but I don't I don't think I'll be using this cup very often, um, so I don't want to cut the stem off just in case I do end up de-stashing it. I do have a medium-high, sometimes very high cervix, and it just depends on the cup how it wants to sit inside of my body, and this one just didn't go up far enough or didn't want to sit up far enough. A lot of times I can insert a long cup and it'll uh, ride up a little bit higher around my cervix and my cervix will actually be on the inside of the cup and uh, the rest of it will be up high too so I don't feel it at the opening of my vagina. Uh, however, I don't know. This one just didn't sit how I would normally like it to and so it wasn't that comfortable for me. Uh, I really think that this would be a great cup for a uh, higher side on the medium and then high and very high cervix. I only used this cup um, for a full day and then overnight and then another full day. That night I took it out while I was in the shower. I just didn't really want to deal with that feeling. I noticed it quite a bit uh, while I was sitting and sometimes even when I was standing or walking around. I did receive two more menstrual cups during that period, uh, and they are the lolly cups. So this is the medium lolly cup. Uh, my friend and fellow vlogger and blogger Jennifer Lewis from My Menstrual Chalice, I'll leave all of her uh, information in the description below. Check her out on YouTube and on Facebook, but she got me this cup for my birthday back in July. I liked it so much that I wanted to get the small and the large. You'll notice that I did cut the stem off of the, the medium cup and that is because when I used it during that period this cup did want to sit low. It didn't matter how much I pushed it up around my cervix it kept making its way low so I went ahead and chopped off the stem uh, and it fit fine. It didn't go any lower. It didn't sit at the opening of my vagina. I didn't feel it or anything like that. Very comfortable. 
Um, and so I went and used my, actually I used the large first and I didn't want to cut the stem off. I hate cutting the stems off of my cups. I, I left the stem on and I inserted this cup and I didn't feel it. I didn't feel the stem. I don't know what the difference was, but this one just sat differently. Or maybe my cervix was in a different position. And so I didn't feel the stem on the large, and it was comfortable. It opened fine. It, it was easy to insert. Again, the lolly cup has channels on it so that you can fold it up smaller than a normal menstrual cup. So if you're worried about it looking so large, these cups do fold up, roll up. Um, smaller than a normal uh, menstrual cup without these channels. So here is the large, and here is the open or the point of insertion. So here's my knuckle. You can see how much smaller it is. I wore this for a full day and overnight and the next day and I wasn't really heavy like I said and I wasn't even filling a quarter of this so I really didn't feel like I needed to use the large size for this period and I went back to the medium. It's just comfortable and again I was waiting to have sex with my husband so that I could see how this cup worked out. Uh, for the next few days, nothing. Uh, he, I think he had like food poisoning or something, but he was just not feeling good and I knew that wasn't going to happen. Since my period wasn't heavy after those few days of using the medium, I did get a uh, request to do a comparison video between the small lolly cup and the small super jenny i believe so after i did that video i um, went ahead and inserted this cup just to see how it inserted how it felt and how it sat again it was fine it, it went up fine it didn't um it didn't sit really low i couldn't feel it um, and I only wore it for one night because, again, I was waiting uh, to have sex with the mediums. So I wore this for a full day, uh, overnight that night and the next day, and then uh, I did take it out and went back to my medium. Since Sunday, I have been using the medium lolly cup. <sighs> Just hoping. And finally, it happened. Uh, my husband... <laughs> I kind of almost got rid of all of his food poisoning and uh, we we got to try or I got to try this cup during sex and um, it, it collapsed just fine but it did stay uh, sealed against me I didn't have any leaking but again we do have sex normally after we shower so I do have a fresh cup in this cup was really good to have inserted while I had sex. Um, it is one of very few cups that allow me almost total sensation. Uh, so it's the closest to not having a cup in. I didn't feel the rim. Um, I didn't feel the cup. I could feel my husband uh, almost completely for the most part. A lot of other cups I don't get full sensation. I lose some sensation. Uh, it was just a really nice cup to have sex in uh, or sex with while it was in. I didn't try to remove it right away. Uh, when you have sex and you're sexually aroused, everything moves up, so your cup moves up, and sometimes that makes it harder to uh, reach and remove. So I do just leave it in until the next morning when I dump it out. Well, that concludes the six cups that I used during my last period. Uh, let me know if I missed something or if you had any additional questions. Also, since these are new to my collection, once again, you're welcome to leave me any kind of requests for squish comparison videos or comparison photographs on my Krabby Patties page. Until I see you next time, take care.